हेलो एवरी वन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सेनाइल कैट्रैक्ट इट्स स्टेजेस एंड इट्स साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल टॉक अबाउट मैचुरेशन ऑफ कॉटिकल टाइप ऑफ दे आर टू टाइप ऑफ मैचुरेशन वन इज कॉटिकल टाइप एंड वन इज न्यूक्लियर टाइप दे आर फाइव स्टेजेस ऑफ कॉटिकल टाइप ऑफ सेनाइल कैट्रैक्ट फर्स्ट स्टेज इज स्टेज ऑफ लेमिलर सेपरेशन इन दिस स्टेज दिस इज द अर्लीस्ट साइन इन दिस स्टेज देयर इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ वैक्योल्स एंड वाटर क्लैफ and it leads to demarcation of cortical fibers by fluids second stage is stage of incipient cataract a stage of incipient cataract is further of two distinct time first is cuneiform and second is cupeliform in stage of incipient cataract there is early detectable opacity seen in cuneiform senile cat senile cortical cataract where shape opacity is present these wedge shape opacities extend from equator to our center on oblique illumination radial spock like patterns of grayish white opacities are seen in direct ophthalmoscopy we will see opacities appear dark line against red fungal glow this is the diagram of cuneiform senile cortical cataract in which wedge shape opacities are extending from equator to our center and in cupeliform senile cataract saucer shape opacity seen it is posterior sub scapular cataract which extends outward cupeliform cataract lies right in the pathway of axial rays thus led to early loss of visual acuity clinical features of cupeliform senile cataract are it leads to more loss of vision for near vision vision improves in dim light and glare is seen glare is inability to drive at night third is immature senile cataract immature senile cataract is opacification progress further becomes more diffuse and irregular the color of lens in this case is grayish white clear cortex is still present thus iris shadow is visible lens may become swollen due to continued hydration and this condition is known as intumescent cataract now talking about mature senile cataract in mature senile cataract opacification becomes complete whole of cortex is involved lens becomes pearly white in color and such a cataract is called ripe cataract in hypermature senile cataract there are further two types morgagnian hypermature and sclerotic type hypermature cataract in morgagnian hypermature cataract cortex liquefies and lens is converted into a bag of milky fluid a small brownish nucleus settles at the bottom and in sclerotic type hypermature cataract cortex become disintegrated and lens become shrunken due to leakage of water anterior capsule is wrinkled and thickened iris become tremulous and this condition is known as iridodonesis now talking about maturation of nuclear senile cataract in this process progressive sclerotic process make the lens inelastic and hard these changes begin centrally and spread slowly peripherally clinical feature of nucleus senile cataract is it leads to loss of vision in daytime due to pupillary constriction and improvement of vision in dim light due to pupillary dilation refractive index is increased in this case refractive index is increased thus power of lens is increased thus it leads to index myopia thus it is known as second sight clinical feature of cataract if we talk about symptoms of cataract then what are the symptoms of cataract symptoms that are seen is glare what is glare glare is intolerance of bright light most common with posterior subcapsular and cortical cataract uniocular diplopia and polyopia due to irregular refraction by the lens owing to variable refractive index seen commonly with incipient stage of cortical category colored halos around light are seen what is colored halos breaking of white light into colored spectrum due to irregular refractive index is known as colored halos around light poor color discrimination due to progressive yellowing or browning of the color poor color discrimination is seen black spots is seen in front of eye it is blur and misty vision is seen which leads to loss of ability to see objects in bright sunlight deterioration of vision painless and gradually progressive talking about signs of cataract signs of cataract is cataract is of nuclear immature mature hypermature m means morgagnian and hypermature that means sclerotic type hypermature senile cataract and signs is visual acuity first we will talk about visual acuity 6 by 9 to perception of light is seen in nuclear cataract 6 by 9 to counting of finger is seen in immature cataract in mature hands movement to perception of light in a hypermature only hypermature both in morgagnian and sclerotic type perception of light is seen
now talking about color of the lens color of lens is gray and nuclear immature mein it is gray white mature pearly white hyper mature morganian is milky white and hyper mature sclerotic is dirty white if we talk about iris shadow iris shadow is only seen in immature senile cataract in direct ophthalmoscopy central red glow against red fungal glow red fundal fundal glow is visible only in nuclear and immature central dark area is seen in nuclear and multiple dark area is seen against red fungal glow in immature talking about mature no red glow but white pupil is seen in hyper mature no red glow but milky white pupil and in hyper mature sclerotic no red glow but dirty white pupil is seen on slit lip examination nuclear opacity clear cortex is seen in nuclear cataract in immature normal with cataractor cortex is seen in mature complete cortex is cataractus in hyper mature milky white cortex with sunken brown nucleus is seen and in hyper mature sclerotic thickened anterior capsule is seen in retinoscopy in nuclear cataract we see index myopia and in immature type we see index hypermetropia and retinoscopy is not possible in other cases